So as we talked about on Friday, uh, this will be the first assignment I'm putting into Skyward. It is um, accumulation of lots of things we've done this year. We're looking at solving equations. And if you notice the title of this demo, it, it does mode, it says solving equations with variables on both sides. The problem I have on the screen right now is not both sides, but just one side because there's an M right, oops. <laughs> there's an M right here and there's no other M in this equation. So let's just review a few things that we've talked about. Some notes over here. When we're solving equations, if we see that there's something that needs to be distributed, we do it first. And I see that right here, this eight needs to be distributed. So that's gonna be 16M plus 24 equals 120. In the chat, let me know if you want to, me to explain where I got any of those numbers. So this was eight times two M, eight times two is 16, that two is connected to the M. So we're gonna end up with 16 M, eight times two, and the M just stays. And then eight times three gives us this 24. Yes, distributive property. The next thing we wanna look for is, is there something we can zero out or get rid of by turning it into a zero? What do you see here that we could zero out? Yeah, thanks, Jeremy and Long. We are gonna subtract the 24 from both sides. The 16M is gonna drop straight down and stay on the left side of the equal side for now. That is my husband bringing me more tea. That is his arm you're all seeing. <laughs> uh, 24, positive 24 minus 24 became zero. And then on the right side of the equation, I can take the 24 from the 120 because they're like terms. 120 minus 24 is 96. So remember what the next thing we're looking to do is. Yep, you're right, Carly, we want to divide. We want to turn that number in front of the variable into a positive invisible one. And in this case, because it's multiplication, we're going to divide. We show division in these equations by drawing the line underneath to show division and put the number we're dividing underneath. 16 divided by 16 is invisible one. 96 divided by 16. I do have a calculator here. I'm not doing this in my head. Is six. And I saw lots of you were doing fine with this until we got to slide five. So I'm going to move ahead to slide five and write down that problem. I'm gonna move everybody to slide five in the Desmo so you can all see it. Remember what I'm looking for when we're doing this work today is you're showing your work. All right, I'm seeing eight times B minus eight and negative two B minus 34. And to be honest, I always think my Bs look like sixes. So I'm gonna rewrite this with a different variable. X is my favorite one.
A variable is just a letter. It doesn't matter what letter we use. Oh, I'm going to pause real quick because I'm getting a question in the chat. We had people coming into this at so many different places. If you left your paper with me on Friday, it is over on my desk between the phone and the dry erase pockets that are sticking up. There's some from fifth period there too, but I know there were three or four people in here who were looking for that. Let me know when people have their papers and I can start again. Dan, Kenji, anybody else? Are we good? Aiden, you're back. Sorry, I didn't see you today. All right. So all I did with the first is I crossed this off because I didn't like the variable and I just rewrite the problem with a variable I like using. It's really more about my handwriting and I didn't want that B to look like a six. So I see distribution has to happen. This eight has to be shared to both of the X and the minus eight. So that's gonna get us eight X for eight times X and negative 64, positive eight, times negative eight is gonna get us negative 64 equals negative two X minus 34. What makes this challenging is we've got a variable on both sides of the equation. So we can't look for that zero necessarily yet. We have to get the X's together on one side of the equation. So I'm gonna pick the two X and add it. I could have done either one of them, but I like the two X because it's negative in the problem. And to move it to the other side, I can make it positive and I prefer working with positive. So on the left side of my equation, I'm gonna get 10 X minus 64 equals, this got zeroed out, negative 34. What does my next step that need to be then? Well, now I'm at a place where I can try to get a zero. And I'm seeing some questions saying, is it the 64 or is it the 34? Well, it's gonna be the 64. And the reason is our goal is to get that variable by itself. And that negative 64 is on the side of the equal sign with the 10X. That means on the left side of our equal sign, we're gonna have just 10X and what's gonna be on the right side. Thirty. Sixty-four minus thirty-four is the same as saying negative thirty-four plus sixty-four. We're looking for the difference there, and it's thirty. Next step, we've zeroed this out. All that's left is finding that invisible one with the x. So we're going to divide by ten. I really feel you all know these steps. That's why I'd like us to work on this where we're getting the steps shown. We're, we're getting some um, evidence of what we've been working on. But if they're intimidating or they look scary, try starting it with what you think is the right step. Check with neighbors, check with me. You can even check with Ms. Herda. She does know algebra too. I'm gonna stop the recording.